Next, we have with us Osama Manzar, who is the co-founder of Digital Empowerment Foundation. Mr. Manzar has extensive experience working on issues of internet access and digital inclusion. And today he is here with us to share his thoughts on how conversations around online privacy can be made more accessible for first-time internet users. Mr. Manzar, if you will please continue from here. Thank you so much. And uh, glad to be here and sharing a screen with others. In other uh, real life, we would have said we are sharing dais, but here we are sharing screens. Uh, uh, I don't have a very in-depth uh, knowledge and uh, you know about this privacy thing, but I just wanted to share from the perspective of online and offline and literacy and access. And I have more questions than answers. And I want to start from one anecdote. Uh, since we work a lot in rural India, uh, you know there is this uh, guy who is a digital entrepreneur in Alwar village who works with us, and his job is to actually provide access to the poorest of the poor in terms of entitlements, in terms of literacy, in terms of skilling, and so on and so forth. And I was visiting this uh, village and this guy is also a um, licensed banking correspondent. So he also works like an ATM and he provides money. So I was sitting uh, in the room and this guy was actually, um, you know, had a queue of uh, many ladies who had come to get uh, money from him. And uh, of course, most of the uh, women who were queued up there, uh, they were illiterate and they didn't know what's happening on the computer and all that. So one lady comes, put her you know, uh, finger on a biometric and then this guy suddenly opens her account, bank account and, uh, you know, um, uh, and, and handles her bank account. And after uh, talking to her, she wanted about 3,500 rupees and uh, he does this calculation and gives her 1500 rupees i said uh, are you inside her bank account he said yes i am inside her bank account and and she doesn't know how to read and write and she just trusts him that all the calculation that he is doing is absolutely correct and uh, and uh, here you go that he has access to all the data and she has no idea what is the meaning of data, what is the meaning of online, what is the meaning of her data being accessed by somebody else and what is her right and so on and so forth. And this guy is totally uh, is trusted from the perspective that uh, he said that I am giving her 1500 rupees only because she had already taken another 2000 rupees yesterday without even logging in because she you know, wanted that money desperately. So I gave it from my pocket. I'm just adjusting and giving her so here is a situation you know uh, you know in the modern world i don't know uh, before online or digital world had we been talking about privacy or the right to privacy or things like that why is it a very important issue in an online world uh, and thinking from india india lives in community india lives in villages is uh, privacy or right to privacy is an individual phenomena or a community phenomena? I am wondering, you know, the reason is that we live in community, we live in a joint family and we have no privacy from each other. So what is our understanding of privacy and how online world looks at privacy or the data or something like that? Uh, uh, incidentally, you know, in illiterate world, uh, uh, illiterate in terms of digital illiterate, uh, you know, there are people who are digitally excluded, who are not online, but their entire data is online. You know, I am I'm not online. I am one of those 300 million uh, poorest of the poor who do not have connectivity, but I cannot access my food without my data being digital and I being, uh, you know, checked with it with biometric. And then only I get access to my food. Uh, in real life, uh, we all are humans but our digital lives we are converted into a data you know and my question is that a human is transformed into a data when it comes to online the question that we need to ask is that is that data also human uh, when it behaves online and as jyoti said very beautifully is 
that uh, we all are consumers online and all our data is consumerized and used uh, you know for, for 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 business purpose and all that so how do we really look at uh, uh, you know all these issues especially in virtual world against real world in virtual world when you go and everything online and the data uh, you are always subjected to intermediary you know you are subjected to isp as an intermediary you are subjected to government as an intermediary you are subjected to platform as an intermediary private company as an intermediary that means when you are converted into a data you you are actually open to all these intermediaries who can use your data who can exploit your data what is the level of privacy that you can approach because i being an illiterate or do not have access to internet and to the online world i don't even know the meaning of how my data is being utilized how i am being used as a consumer and not a citizen and so on and so forth especially in a country which is patriarchal which is feudal which is caste based which is multilingual multiracial multicultural multireligious and also oral you know how do you handle the privacy in this uh, way how long will it take for us to do privacy literacy or literacy of privacy of data before we understand that how do i ask my right you know i mean it is exactly like i i have a right to information but i don't have access to information uh, i may have right to privacy but do i really know how to protect my uh, you know privacy so uh, you know the online world where the half the world is not even connected i wonder how are we going to navigate the situation of dataization of human at vis-a-vis the humanization of data you know to protect them and 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 those are the real questions because all the humanity half of humanity is still yet to be connected while the rest of the half which is connected is struggling how to protect themselves online thank you